Okay, so I decided to do a detailed video on how to install the hand show harness replacement for the auto presenting door handle. So if you're trying to install this, I had a lot of questions, so I decided to do a 4K detailed video on how to do it yourself. Basically, you will have to take off the interior panel. That's one thing, so you know that. There's an auto presenting door handle and Here's the plug that was attached right here. So this was sitting, this, this rubber tube was sitting between here. What I did was I disconnect this and this. It was connected right here. So once you disconnect that, you shove in this harness this OEM, this is Tesla OEM. You shove it in here, push it through. So it's sitting here, resting inside here and you will zip tie this later. And then taking the hand show, this is the hand show harness. So this will replace that. It will sit in just like that. Okay, so the key is you have to, you have to fish door handle wire through the harness just like this so from the small opening to the larger opening you fish it through going left right that but you fish it through after you run that cable through this door so there's an opening this is for the model y um, it may be different for the model 3 but the latest model 3 should be very similar so you run it through there. And once you run it through the door, you fish it from the small side to the larger side. And then you install this with the wires running through. So you do have to fish this through the actual hand show harness. And it's very simple um, once you get it through. And this plug here, you would shove through here and then plug it into the OEM plug inside the door. So that's the trick. That's how you do it. Um, for those wondering, this panel, easy to remove. There is a torque 20 here. So make sure you're not pulling on it. Um, after you pull off the top cover, there's a torque 20, I think it's T20 there. And then you can pry this open and then you just rest this to the side and you have full access between the B pillar. And that's really how you get through this new harness. So a lot of the viewers have asked, what do I do with the, o the, the OEM harness? You, you keep it, you leave it inside your door instead of between your door. So that's the takeaway. You leave it inside the door instead of between the door. And you replace between the door with the hand show harness. So if you order the auto presenting door handles, you will need these hot harness. It should come in the kit. If you don't have it, then you need to reach back out to them to make sure that it's either coming separately or just make sure that you have it before you start installation. Else you're gonna get stuck right here. And this is the wire to the automatic door handle. Very straightforward once you understand how it works. So if you have any questions, hit me up in Instagram. Hopefully this video helps you with your installation if you decide to do it yourself. It's about a six hours job. So just save two hours for the first door and then about one hour for each other door. This one does take some time to, to get the panel open, but once you do one side, the other side should be a lot quicker. And uh, yeah, plan for six, six to eight hours to install the auto presenting door handle. And if you're interested in this, link in the description, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because we are taking out this door panel just so we can show you how to install it. Catch you on next right, time. So this is how it looks like when it's installed. Just clean this up a little bit. This is rip. No, that's just an extra rubber. Scare me for a moment.
and then you plug it in like that. You want to zip tie this up. The problem with Tesla vehicle is um, what I noticed. There's some gaps opening. So you want to wrap this up with some water protection electrical tape. Because if water gets into these plugs, um, it's sort of game over. So just make sure to check your car. Not all doors have these, but check this out. I mean, light is coming through. You can see my f my fingers from the other side. Water will seep through here. So what you can buy is seal or sealant, and you can just seal this from the inside out. So what what I'm gonna put on these doors is actually a a silicone to block out the water. So I'm gonna do that from the inside uh, out. These doors should be waterproof, but it's not. It's typical Tesla for you. Um, they didn't weld it well enough. Although there's a, there's, a, there's a gap here that's supposed to prevent water from coming in, but I do notice water do seep through. So that's another reason why I also took this door off because that's why I know this and I'm going to go ahead and fill those gaps up. At least you don't have to do it for the whole entire door. Um, don't block out the bottom. It's supposed to have holes down there so it leaks through. But this is, I mean, the right door ha doesn't have this. So we're going to seal this up and we're going to use this. I'll post a link where you can find this too. Um, this whole job took me less than... 45 minutes, but I've been taking off doors many times before, so it might take take you an hour and a half the first time you're doing it. Um, yeah, so that's how you install the auto presenting door handle. So these door handles here, it looks like a simple install, but mm, it's a full day's job. If you need support with installation and you're in SoCal, check out Test Studio too. They will do it for you um, if you're not comfortable with it. And I highly recommend that. So uh, why do it yourself when you can have someone else do it? Just make more content um, if you're gonna do it yourself. However, if you don't care about that, then yeah, just drop by test studio and they'll be able to install it for you but if you do it yourself that's how you do it remember subscribe support the channel catch you on next all right time. so got the sealant in just cover up all that open slot and that should prevent water from coming in i mean you still can get water from the window when rolling down and up when it's raining but yeah that's pretty much how you do it and then just dry up this will burn some wires so keep keep it distant I'm just gonna dry this up because this does take about about six or eight hours to dry so we're gonna take this car out in a few hours we want to get a little heat in here first and that's how you seal up your door trim that Tesla forgot to weld together Remember to subscribe. Catch you all next time.